Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at simplifying algebraic fractions. Let's start by just looking how we simplify these fractions here. And the first fraction is just a normal fraction. 450 over 500. Well, 450 is the same as 9 times 50 and 500 is the same as 10 times 50. And here all we will do when simplifying fractions is dividing the top and the bottom by the same thing. Divide by 50, divide by 50, we would get 9 over 10, and that is the final answer. Okay, if you don't remember how to simplify fractions, or you don't, need to know, don't remember how to add, subtract, multiply, or divide fractions, it is worth stopping the video now and going back and reminding yourself how to simplify or add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions with my fractions playlist. But if you're happy and you're ready to continue, let's try the next one. 12 a to the power 4 b to the power 9 times c over 18 a to the power 5 b squared c. Okay, that looks quite complicated, but all we're going to do is deal with the numbers, then deal with the a's, then deal with the b's, then deal with the c's. 12 over 18, we can divide the top and the bottom of that by 6 and divide it by 6, because that's the biggest thing that divides 12 and divides 18. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now the a's, the biggest thing that can divide a to the power 4, and a to the power 5 is a to the power 4. a to the power 4 divided by a to the power 4 is 1, and a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 4 is a. But when we multiply by 1, it's like we're just leaving it as it is. And so we can just leave out the times by 1. Next one, the b to the power 9 and b squared. We can divide by b squared and divide by b squared. You would get a b to the power 7. And then b squared divided by b squared is 1. So you just leave that out of the bottom. And finally, the c and the c. We divide by c, divide by c. We just get 1 on the top and the bottom, which we just, times by 1, is just leaving it out. And this is the final answer, 2b to the power 7 over 3a. Next one, this is a quadratic uh, algebraic fraction. And here, always good idea to factorise the top and the bottom. So you're going to factorise the top and the bottom of this, and we get uh, x minus 3 times x minus 2. And the bottom is x minus 2 times x plus 9. If you don't remember how to factorise quadratics, you need to go back to my videos on factorising quadratics and watch them before continuing. The link to that will be in the description. Now we've got an x minus 2 and an x minus 2 on the top and the bottom, so we can cancel those out. And we're left with x minus 9, sorry, x minus 3 over x plus 9. And that is the final answer. Okay, are you happy with those? If so, we can continue. If not, maybe rewind and watch those again. Okay, now we've got these fractions we're going to add and subtract. For adding subtracting fractions, you should remember that you make a common denominator. And it's the same for algebraic fractions. For this one, we're going to multiply by 5 and multiply by 2. And you will get this. The 1 can be changed to 10 tenths. And we're left with this, where we've got a common denominator on the bottom. And just remember that 1 is the same as 10 tenths. We add or subtract everything on the top. We'll be left with this, 15x minus 8x plus 10. And that's the same as 7x plus 10 over 10. Now just note here that because you've got a plus 10 on the top, you cannot uh, simplify that with a 10 on the bottom. Because you, when you're adding something on the top, or subtracting something on the top, it doesn't cancel. It has to be multiplied on the top to cancel with a, something multiplied on the bottom. Okay. Now we've got this fraction here, and we're going to factorise the bottom. As I say, always a good idea to factorise when you've got something complicated on the bottom. To make a common denominator, uh, you're going to multiply by 3 and multiply by 2, and you would get this. Then we just add the top, and then we can divide the top and the bottom by the same thing. We can divide by 3 and divide by 3. We're left with 5a plus 4 over 2a minus 3. Okay, now we've got this uh, fractions here. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 
x plus 1 and x minus 1. And that will give us a common denominator. Watch how this works. So we multiply the top and the bottom by that, and we're left with the same denominator, x minus 1 times x plus 1. We subtract the top, we're left with this, and then we expand. We, we've got this. Notice the minus 3 times minus 1 gets a plus 3. People always make the mistakes there with their subtractions, with their negative numbers. And that just simplifies the 4x minus 3x becomes x, the 4 plus 3 becomes 7, we're left with this here, and that is the final answer. Okay, now you know to add and subtract algebraic fractions. We're going to continue now with multiplying and dividing. So this one here, we, uh, we're going to factorise the top and factorise the bottom like this. Then we multiply everything on the top and everything on the bottom, that's how we multiply fractions. And we can simplify the top up and the bottom like that. The x plus 4 and the x plus 4 are factors on the top and the bottom, so they can cancel. And we're left with 3x squared over 18. And we can simplify those numbers. We divide by 3 and divide by 3, because we can divide by 3 and we have to. We've got x squared over 6 is the final answer. Now let's look at this dividing here. And when you're dividing fractions, you should remember that you keep, change, flip. Okay, you keep the first fraction the same, change the divide to times, and then you flip the last fraction upside down. The bottom becomes the top, the top becomes the bottom. Okay, now we uh, have this and we multiply the top and we multiply the bottom like this. Factorise the top and factorise the bottom. And if there's any common factors on the top and bottom, we can cancel. The x minus 4 and the x minus 4 can cancel. They're the only common factors. And we're left with this, which simplifies to 6x times x plus 2 over x plus 3 times x plus 4. And that is the final answer. Okay. So I've shown you how to add, subtract, multiply and divide algebraic fractions and simplify. It's now your turn to practice. If you need to re-watch the video, just rewind and watch it again. But if you're ready, you can try these algebraic fractions. I want you to uh, add, subtract, uh, multiply and divide and simplify if you can. If you're ready and you've finished the questions, I can press play and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know how you did in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. If you'd like to see more videos like this, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.